What's up everyone? Today I'm going to um, give you a rundown of my rig. Uh, the first part of these videos, uh, I'm going to show you the, the guitars that I use. So I figure that would be the uh, rational place to start. Um, I'm going to show you each one individually and explain to you any modifications, if any, to each one of the guitars. Um, the first guitar I'm going to show you is my main guitar. It is the um, March Monty II, it's a 2009 model. Um, uh, Triburst finish, as you can see. Oh, the lighting is terrible there. Let's turn it around. Okay, much better. Uh, it has a Triburst finish. Um, it's a tin top. And I actually I bought this on eBay. I got a pretty good deal on it and I couldn't pass it up. The guitar itself is purely stock. No modifications to the guitar other than this handy dandy tape I put on the back of it. That prevents buckle rash and any sort of scratching that may occur during live shows because <clears throat> I do not want to damage this guitar any more than I have to. This is, the, this is absolutely the best guitar I've ever played. Um, I fell in love with it. Um, I've tried out pretty much every guitar um, in existence, I feel. Uh, maybe not every guitar in existence, but every popular guitar. And this one by far plays the best for me. It fits my hands well. It feels, it, it feels firm. It's heavy. It has a good tone. It has a nice, thick mahogany body. With the maple cap. Also like the uh, two volume and two tone knobs. Um, so you can um, individually adjust the tone of each pickup. Not to mention it's a gorgeous guitar. That is my main guitar. I use it mostly for um, anything in standard tuning or half step down. Um, anything lower than that I typically don't use it. Uh, I have used it for a full step down, but I had to, to do some adjusting to the tremolo bar. Uh, so I mainly just use it for, um, actually as you can see it's it's currently labeled for a half step down. Uh, this, the next guitar that I most commonly use um, is the Tremonti SE, which as most of you know, is basically the um, the more affordable version of the Tremonti. It's, uh, this is my oldest guitar. I bought this guitar in 2004. This is pre-Gibson lawsuit. I kind of panicked when I heard about the lawsuit happening, so I, uh, I quickly purchased this guitar. Um, and at the time I couldn't afford the actual USA model. Um, but nonetheless, this guitar is a workhorse for sure. Um, I mainly use this guitar for lower tunings. Uh, just because it has a fixed bridge, as you can see here, um, it, it and I also use different gauge strings. I, I use ten on all my guitars except for this one. Um, I, on this one, I use the Ernie Ball skinny top heavy bottoms. I, I do use Ernie Ball strings on every guitar that I own, um, except for acoustics. I use elixirs. Um, this guitar has many modifications. Uh, the first and most obvious of which is probably. Uh, the Tremonti pickups. Both of these are Tremonti USA model pickups. It drastically improves the tone of this guitar. Um, it doesn't sound exactly like the USA model, but it's very, very close. And it definitely does sound better with these as compared to the SE pickups. Um, another important modification, um, something that really helped this guitar, especially for lower tunings, are the Grover locking tuners. That, this was actually the first uh, modification that I made. <clears throat> it really, um, it really improves. It's not that I didn't like the uh, SE tuners, but these really improve the tone, especially when you're using it for lower tunings and such. Um, I also replaced the um, the 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 stock plastic white nut with a, a black graphite one, like the one on the USA model. It, it prevents the strings from binding and getting caught. So they stay in tune better, and you don't get the annoying popping sound when you make a, you know, like a, a, a two-step bend, and it stays in tune much better. Um, the other modifications that you may not be able to see, obviously, are 
the volume and tone pots. All volume and tone pots in here have been replaced uh, with the um, USA model volume and tone pots. So basically this has the same volume and tone pots that's in my other uh, USA model. Um, also the um, the output jack has been replaced with the um, USA model output jack. Uh, all the electronics in this guitar have been upgraded to match the USA model except for the pickup selector switch. The switch is yet to fail on me and it works fine so I see no reason to replace it. However, I may do that one day. Okay, that is the Tremonti SE. Uh, I have one more PRS. It's another SE. It's a single cut SE. Um, this guitar I actually won in the 2010 Carnival of Madness Tour. Uh, for my submission of Seven Dust's uh, Unraveling cover video. Um, as you can see, it's signed by a few bands. I think it's Shine Down, Seven Dust, um, Chevelle, um, Ten Years, and Puddle of Mud. Um, I kind of regret getting it signed, actually, but I don't know. It's a good conversation piece, I guess. Um, this one is... The main difference between this one and the Tremont TSC is that this one only has one volume and one tone. Um, I don't dislike that, uh, but I still prefer the two volume and two tone of the Tremonti SC. Also, the pickup selector switch is located um, in more of an awkward place for me. It's kind of back here towards the back. Um, it's a great guitar, though. Um, I replaced the um, the pickups uh, in the... In the uh, in the bridge, I have a Seymour Duncan uh, uh, Screaming Demon, uh, or not Screaming Demon, I'm sorry, Seymour Duncan SH11. And in the uh, neck, I have Seymour Duncan SH1. Um, everything else is stock. Uh, I probably will put the Grover locking tuners on this one at some point in the near future. Um, and may upgrade the electronics at some point as well. But this guitar I mainly use as a backup for live shows. Alright, this is my uh, newest guitar. Um, it is a 2012 Fender Blacktop Telecaster in silver. Um, the reason I bought this guitar is that I've always wanted a Telecaster, but I never could afford or didn't want to afford um, the uh, any telecaster that had humbuckers that actually sounded good uh, but this guitar for the money I mean you can go in any store pretty much and buy one of these for 500 bucks out the door brand new um, they I would compare them to the PRS SE line uh, with price versus um, playability and functionality uh, great guitar um, it sounds very thick and meaty for a uh, Telecaster, and of course it has the uh, alder body uh, that's Fender has become known for. Um, the only things I don't like about this guitar that I will change soon are the knobs. I mean, they work fine, I just think they look terrible. <laughs> um, and the tuners. Um, these tuners I'm not a huge fan of. They're a little flimsy. A little more flimsy than what I like. Um, this guitar can handle pretty much any tuning down to maybe drop C sharp without any fret buzz. You can go any lower than that, you get some fret buzz. It has tens on it also, just like all the others. Alright, now on to the acoustics. This guitar is my main acoustic. I love this guitar. Pay three hundred dollars for it, brand new from Guitar Center, it, and you cannot get a better guitar for three hundred bucks as you can. It's a Fender CD one forty SCE, very long model name, uh, but nonetheless it, it plays and sounds fantastic. It's um, it's very clear, very very loud, very very pure sounding. That's why I really like it. 
I use elixir strings on it, which really, really seems to bring up the tone of this guitar. Um, it not, I mean, it's it's gorgeous as well. Um, but yeah, I played nearly every eight hundred dollar to one thousand dollar guitar at every store in, in my local uh, neighborhood, and this one, um, this one played better at least as good or better than any of those guitars um so i was like well why spend eight hundred dollars on one when you can when i can get one for three hundred dollars you know so i bought this one great guitar it can handle low tunings pretty much anything you throw at that guitar it's fine um i also have a backup acoustic not nearly as good but i use it for any acoustic live shows that I do as a backup because there's always a risk you know of breaking a string so I use this it is a Takamine EG230 uh, uh, Takamine does make um, some good guitars this is one of the cheaper uh, bass models but um, it's awesome the, only, the cool thing about this one is it actually came with Grover locking tuners which, which I thought was cool I wouldn't mind having some of those on my uh, my other acoustic. So uh, yeah, there you have it. Those are my uh, the guitars that I'm currently using. The uh, PRS Mark Tremonti Two, the PRS Tremonti SE, the PRS Single Cut SE, Fender Blacktop Telecaster. Fender CD140 SCE and Takamini EG230. Uh, please check out part two. I'm going to post some videos of my uh, my uh, pedals and amp setup. Um, hopefully you enjoy. See ya.